you're a small channel and you're getting zero views on your videos and no subscribers, then we need to head over to YouTube Studio right now and fix these seven settings that will help you start getting thousands of views, watch hours and subscribers on a daily basis. When it comes to growing a YouTube channel as a small creator, the first thing you need to pay attention to is your settings. As a matter of fact, those big channels you see there that are getting thousands, hundreds of thousands and even millions of views on our videos. This is actually the first secret. So in this video, I'm going to show you the seven most powerful settings you need to turn on right now that will help you start getting more views. I'm going to do it using my smartphone so you can do it with your smartphone too. So the first important settings you need to turn on right now that will help you start getting more views and subscribers is channel keyword. Because it is where you feed YouTube algorithm with important keywords that will help the algorithm understand what your channel is about and who to show your videos to. Here's the truth. As a small channel, YouTube doesn't know you. It is these keywords that you feed the algorithm that YouTube uses to identify you, identify your audience. Then it can start recommending your videos to those target audience. YouTube depends on these keywords to know who to recommend your videos to. This is what you're going to do. You're going to sit down and think of all relevant keywords to your niche. What are those important keywords that when you mention, somebody knows you are talking about this particular topic. I need you to write them down. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to head over to big channels that are doing the same thing that you do. Once you get over there, all you do is open their channel and then click on this button that says more. You are going to see the about section of the channel. This is actually where you are going to get those relevant keywords you can use to optimize your own channel. If you look at this, for example, you can see those keywords. Just go through this and pick those keywords that are related to what you do. Once you gather all of these keywords, then we head over to the settings to fix this. Open your Google Chrome and type YouTube dashboard. Once it opens, you click on it and it's going to bring us to this place. Click on these settings. The next thing you need to do is to click on channel. And once it opens, this is the place where you are going to add all these keywords. As you can see here, you can see a couple of keywords I have here. So while you type these keywords you've gotten so far, remember to put the names of successful YouTubers in your niche. The reason is because a lot of people no longer search the keywords. They use the names of these big channels. So if you include the names of these big channels, when those people search their names, it will help your videos to rank. So you'll be able to get more views and subscribers using this. So go on and type those keywords you've written down including the names of the big channels to help your videos start ranking. This is one of the biggest secrets YouTubers use to get views on our videos. The next step is to go on and optimize your channel description. So you're also going to use these keywords we used here in the description of your channel. All you need is just convert these keywords to sentences. Use those keywords in making sentences. With this, You've given YouTube algorithm all it needs to know about you and your target audience. So when you upload your video, the channel is optimized, the video is optimized, YouTube will start pushing your video, start recommending your videos for a lot of people to watch your videos. The second important settings you need to do right now that will help you start getting a lot of views and subscribers is channel customization. There are two most important of these two customizations that you have to do right now if you want to start getting more views. The first one is channel trailer. This is a no-brainer. What this setting does is when people come even without clicking on any video at all, they will start watching videos. So this is more like you getting views even without people watching your videos. If you look at this video, for example, with over 400,000 views, this is exactly what I did on this video to get these thousands, hundreds of thousands of views on the video. This video, as you see it here, is my channel trailer. So if you activate this, you are definitely going to get more views. So this is how to do it. You're going to go through your videos and look for that one that offers massive value. It's important you use the one that offers massive value because people are going to watch it without watching it. If they find it valuable, they are going to go on to start watching the video proper and then eventually subscribe to your channel. So when you find this particular video, you consider it very valuable. The next thing is to convert this video to your channel trailer. All you need is to come over here and click on this customization button. 
and it's going to open to this. Then you go on and click on Home tab. Once it opens, you need to come over here and turn this button on if it's off. Then you click on this button that says Add Section. If you look at this, you see where it says Channel Trailer. This is exactly that settings that will help you turn one of your videos on in a way that people will watch it, get you views, even without clicking on the video itself. So what you need to do is to touch it if it's not activated and it's going to ask you to select the video you want to use as your trailer. So channel trailer is for people who haven't subscribed to your channel. And the second settings under customization is featured video or spotlight. This one is for returning subscribers. So someone who has been on your channel, watched your video before and subscribed to your channel. The next time they come over here, they want to see the kind of video that will make them stay back. And this is where you use the spotlight to keep them coming back over and again and again. So the right kind of video to use for your spotlight is that video that adds extra value to the trailer you've already used. The next thing is to go on and touch this setting that says spotlight. I'm going to touch this one and it's going to add it as my channel spotlight. The third important settings you need to fix right now is default upload. Guys, this one isn't just settings, it's actually optimization because when you have this default upload, YouTube already acknowledges those keywords, those important keywords. And every time you upload video, YouTube simply takes those ones and add it to the new video you just uploaded. First, it helps in optimizing the channel because you have those keywords already there waiting for your video to be uploaded. And secondly, it saves you time. There are a lot of things you add every time you upload video that you don't have to keep repeating them. Come over here and click on settings. Once it opens, you go on and click on upload defaults. This setting is very, very important for small creators. So if you look at this, the first thing is title. You should not touch this because every new upload has a unique title. The next thing is to touch the description and think of those words, those keywords. You always include your video every time you upload them. You just have to come over here and have them here ready. So every time you upload a new video, YouTube will automatically add those optimization, those words, those keywords to the new video you just uploaded. Think of those relevant keywords you include on your video every time you upload them. Think of your social media handles, disclaimer, all of this important information that you always add every time you upload video. This is where you are going to have them permanently. Now, the next one is visibility. I need you to come over here and click on visibility and change it from public to either private or unlisted. So every time you upload video, the video will be on your channel until you make it public. Usually, I recommend you allow your video to sit on your channel for a minimum of two hours before you make it public. This is to give YouTube enough time to run through the video and understand the keywords and who to recommend your videos to. So the next one is tags. Okay, you are going to come over here and add all relevant tags, niche related tags here. The moment you are done imputing this information, click on save. The fourth important settings that you need to turn on in the studio right now that will help you get more watch hours, more subscribers and more views is community and comments. This is super important because without comments on your videos, you don't get engagement metrics and without engagement metrics, YouTube is not going to push your videos. So you need to enable comment on all your videos. Click on this settings. And then once it opens, we are going to come over here and see where it says community moderation. So you touch community moderation and you click on default. Okay. The moment you open, you're going to see where it says comment on channel. You are going to turn this button on. The next thing you want to do is to moderate the comment section to make sure that people don't spam the comment section or even use words that are not permitted to be used on YouTube. So to do that, all you need is to come over to this one that says moderation. Click on it. You can actually select basic, strict, or hold all comments. You click on save to save these settings. The fifth important settings you need to turn on right now as a small creator to start getting more views, subscribers, and watch hours is advanced settings. This one is so important because it is actually what determines who YouTube shows your videos to, the kind of audience YouTube pushes your videos to, how far and wide 
YouTube circulates your video, pushes your video. So there are two settings we need to activate on this advanced settings. The first one is the audience for this video. YouTube wants you to declare if your video is meant for kids. So when you select that your video is meant for kids, it means that this video should be pushed for children to watch it. Now, the disadvantage is if video is meant for kids, most of the time YouTube locks the comment section because they don't want people to use uncensored words. Not only that, when your channel is monetized, there are a lot of limitations as to the kind of advert placed on that video. So if your videos are not strictly made for kids, I need you to select that the video is not made for kids. Click on channel and we click on advanced settings. You see where it says audience. Do you want to set your channel as meant for kids? You should go on and say no. This video is not meant for kids, especially if your videos are normal video. The second part of this advanced settings is automatic captioning. And this is very important. When you set this right, YouTube will push your video to a wider audience. So with automatic captioning, your video can play in any language. You need to come over here where it says automatic captions and check this box. This way, YouTube will code inappropriate words contained in the captions automatically generated. The sixth important settings is strictly for getting more subscribers. A lot of times people want to subscribe to your channel, but they don't know where to find the subscribe button. And this is where this particular setting comes to play. So there's this setting on YouTube that once you turn it on, when your video is playing, the subscribe button appears on the video itself. This button will pop up. They click on it, they will go on and subscribe to your channel stress-free. All you need is to come over here and click on customization button and it's going to open to this page. Then scroll down to the bottom. You see where it says video watermark and you can see the watermark I'm talking about. So go on and select entire video. And the seventh important settings you need to activate right now as a small channel is analytics. So in the YouTube studio, there are a couple of options you have there as a small channel that will help give you insight into how your video is performing that will help you get better at content creation, get more views and subscribers. The first one is CTR. When you upload video on YouTube after some hours, YouTube shows you how people are responding to the thumbnail. When the CTR is low, you need to go on and change that thumbnail. Another one is audience retention graph. You also need to pay close attention to this graph all the time. This will allow you to see where people are dropping off your video. So you know why they are living at that stage, at that point. And in your upcoming videos, your subsequent videos, you need to do something to increase the retention rate. These are seven simple yet powerful settings you need to put in place right now as a small channel that will help you start getting more views, more subscribers and watch hours. I hope you got value from this. Please give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which of these settings do you currently use.